Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how you can separate names into different columns on your spreadsheet. And we're going to do this using an inbuilt feature in Excel called Text to Columns. Now, the first step is to select the range containing the names. So I'm just going to select these three names first name and surname in one cell each here on this spreadsheet and we're going to go for the data tab and then text to columns and that will start up this text to columns wizard where it asks you how your data is structured for us to separate this data into different columns how will Excel know where to perform the separation and this example, and in most cases, our data is delimited. It does not have a fixed width. You know, Wiley is a shorter first name than Donald. We're going to leave this as delimited and click next. So that it prompts us for the delimiter character. So a text character that has been used to separate the, uh, the names in this scenario. Now I'm going to uncheck tab and check space as the words are separated by space. Common alternatives are a comma and semicolons, not with names but with other data they can be. We we'll click on next, that will ask us one last question about formatting, which is relevant really in this example. Happy with these just as a general format. So I'm going to click finish and that will separate the names into different columns. It will move the, in this case, the surname into the next column along to its right. So it's important in this example for it to work that this column, column C there, uh, was empty in preparation for that. Just to demonstrate, if I undo that step, and if I make up some data to put into this column, and then I select the range, and we look at text to columns again. Text to columns on data. Delimited space, let's finish that. And it will warn me about replacing the contents of destination cells, warning me that mouse, duck, and coyote will replace these three ages. So if I clicked OK, or I don't really want to here, but if I clicked OK, I would lose that data. So very important for us to insert a column in preparation for whatever data you are separating uh, before performing text to columns and that is how we can separate names into different columns on a spreadsheet i hope you find this useful please check out some or other tips and tricks at computergaga.com